Welcome YouTubers to today's video. We'll be looking at another true crime series. A crime of murder, police, corruption, and just moral ethics being called into question. I was scrolling through the news as I usually do, and I saw an initial report of two women that were found dead in the park. They were revealed to be sisters with widely different ages. One being Nicole Smallman, age 27, and second sister being Biba Henry, 46, in which they concluded they were, they, they were killed in a knife attack on June 6. They had spent the evening celebrating Miss Henry's birthday in Wembley, London. As we're reporting today, 2nd of July, the suspect, Daniel Hussein, 18, was arrested in his home in South London in the early hours. And other reports that the police had recovered 1,000 exhibits and gone to hundreds of homes to probe. However, there's a very important part of this crime that has to do with the police that went and overshadowed the murder and probably put into question uh, all of a sudden how come there was such an increased search and an increased help for the investigation in which the police were accused at the time of taking selfies next to the bodies of the girls which is very horrifying of course accused because there's n there hasn't been any official report just accusations as described the grieving mother of the two women who were stabbed to death slammed the toxic metropolitan police after two officers were accused of taking selfies next to the bodies of their daughters the mother mina smallman said the accused officers dehumanized her murdered daughters nicole smallman and rebelled henry by taking selfies in wimbledon which are believed to be shared with members of the public. Mrs. Smallman told the BBC yesterday about the moment she learned her daughters were dead, saying, all I remember is letting out a howl that came out from the core of my soul. That's the only way I can describe it. And speaking about the selfies, she added, the lead, the lead person said, I don't know how to tell you this, but officers were taking selfies and posing for pictures of your dead daughters. Those police officers dehumanized our children. If we ever needed an example of how toxic it has become, those police officers felt so safe, so untouchable, that they could take photographs. Very shocking, this revelation. And with all the racial tensions that's going on in, in the world, no doubt that the Metropolitan Police doesn't want to have a target on their head. And it just goes to show that it shouldn't matter what ethnic race you are, that is dehumanizing the dead and the grieving. The two girls' bodies was initially found Found in Freyant Country Park, Slough Lane in Wembley. There was a lot of unanswered questions at first as to what happened to them. As they found the phones and found the girls that were taking selfies of themselves, listening to music and dancing with fairy lights at, until at least 1.30 a.m. on June 6th, but calls to them about 2.30 went unanswered. So we have to question what happened between that time to another. The attack on the girls was described as a frenzy knife attack and that the sisters spent the evening celebrating Miss Henry's birthday but police were called to the park the next day about 1pm to reports of two women found unresponsive. Detectives and paramedics attended the scene but Miss Henry who lived in Brent and Miss Mormon from Harrow were pronounced dead at the scene. The suspect, Daniel Hussein, was arrested at his home in Blackheath, South London, in the early hours. The teenager stood in the dock wearing a grey sweatshirt and grey tracksuit bottoms, but did not enter a plea. During the three minutes hearing, he spoke only to confirm his name, address and nationality as British. There was no application for bail. Hussein is next due to appear at the Old Bailey on Monday, July 6. The bodies of the sisters were found by Miss Mormon's boyfriend, Adam, who found the murder weapon after taking it upon himself to return where they were last seen. The victim's family have criticized the initial police response and were left shocked when the claim that two officers were taking horrifying photos next to the bodies. The women were in a group of people who gathered in the park from 7.40 p.m. on June 5th to celebrate the birthday, with people leaving gradually during the evening. By about 12, half 12 in the morning on June 6th, only the sisters remained 
and they have last thoughts have contacted their family and friends at 1.05 a.m. Police have officially reported that they were taking selfies, listening to music and dancing with fairy lights. But as described before, during the time of 1.13 a.m. to half two, that's possibly when the attack happened. A post-mortem gave the cause of death as stab wounds. Detective Chief Inspector Simon Harding said, the investigation into the awful death of two sisters is of course a priority for the Metropolitan Police. And my officers have been working around the clock to identify the person responsible. Given the significance of this development, we visited the family in person today to inform them of the arrest. Our thoughts remain with them at this very difficult time. It's very interesting that we have the detective chief inspector giving such involvement, saying that the police have personally talked to the family. We know that murders happen every day, but we can see when such tensions arise and the authority of the police are called into question that they're looking to make their image better. I just find it sad and even worse during this lockdown that people can't really celebrate at home as they feel like they should. And now spending time in the park is dangerous. So I think you, you should all think before having a party in the park because you never know what could happen. Initial report about the police officers was described that the two officers deployed to guard the murder scene took photographs of their bodies and sent images to a group of people, including members of the public. Both were arrested on suspicion of misconduct in public office last Monday and the matter was passed to the Independent Office of Police Conduct to investigate. The referral last Friday was made on the same day that the women's family released a haunting last image of the sisters with fairy lights as they danced together in the park. The selfies were taken on the tripod barely an hour before the double murder were recovered from one of their mobile phones after the bodies were found. The watchdog is also investigating whether officers properly carried out a search after the women were reported missing due to the length of time it took to discover their bodies. The independent investigation will consider whether any criminal charges should be brought. Both officers who are based on the Northeast Command have been suspended from duty and are currently on police bell. The victim's mother, Wilhelmina Smallman, was the first female BAME Archdeacon in the Anglican Church. Well, YouTubers, we come to the end of this sad crime. As you can see, police corruption is there. It's not just centralized to America as we see in the as we see in the world. The lockdown has made people more vulnerable. The only reason that the family were in the park was the nice weather, which I can't remember whether it was sunny on that day, and as well that they couldn't go to the pub. That makes a lot of questions wonder whether they could have been saved if they were in the pub. And the poor family grieving knowing that a lot of what ifs, if they would have said something to them to come back home with them during that time. And even worse, the lack of initial police response, and it took for the misconduct of two immoral, unethical police officers to get the case solved. Now imagine if every police officer took things seriously, maybe we'll get justice sooner. Well, thank you for listening to this video. If you like the content, give a like, share and subscribe and share the video to other people and let them know that they need to be safe. These true crime videos are not about glamorizing anything, it's about bringing awareness about situations and to educate people that not to allow themselves to be in a dangerous situation. Thank you for listening YouTubers. Goodbye.